Hello everyone! Welcome to Book of Dawn Ioth Academy. I'm your Game Master Torment by Gnomes, and joining me today, we've got Crowen, Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, and we've been going on adventures with this crew for one year, as of today or tomorrow or something. So welcome to our birthday party, I guess. Yay! <laughs> it's a fourth anniversary here. It's technically the seventh in the UK. Happy birthday. Happy birth. Yeah, originally it was going to be 12 episodes, and technically this is our 50th. <laughs> if you count all four of the, of the uh, prelude episodes. This is episode 46. Plus the four pre prequels. We're at 50 episodes. Wow, you got some stamina. <laughs> you won't go away. I have to keep showing up as long as you keep showing up on Wednesdays. I'm like, oh, here we go again. Oh. Tried to try to kill us from a god. What happened? The god got got. You should see the other god. <laughs> Uh, we're expecting Necra to join us shortly. Her uh, epic quest has gone awry. She's had some random encounters, but <laughs> we are expecting to have her with us. Crowen, what's new in your world? Uh, I feel like time is fake because all of a sudden it's one year of this show. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Uh, a blast <laughs> playing wow. with y'all. And if you say if we show up, then you'll continue to show up. So I guess we're playing D&D &D forever. I think that's a thing. So... <laughs> Happy to announce that one, I guess. Nice. Yep, yep. But, uh, yeah, the doing unofficial good. announcement. <laughs> True. Uh, Legs, what's going on with you, my guy? Uh, not too bad. I've regained the will to live after getting something out of my eye that was stuck in there for two days. So uh, everything's coming up leg day today. Let's go. Uh, I I'm excited for some of the things we're cooking up behind the scenes. Got some interesting magics that might show up and. I think we've already had an act of God today, which is, uh, things are going to get complicated real fast. Yeah, we have had a stream loots card. It's a good card, though. It's, uh, and I'll, I'll explain it, but I have to let Lemon Kiwi go next, otherwise I'm just being rude. Lemon Kiwi, what's up? Chillin'. Uh, you know, a little worried about this episode, but <laughs> that's just me it's being so emotionally weird invested you say that at this every point. single time. No, it's been one year. You can say it's getting kind of serious between, uh, between us all. We're going to so. moving in with the campaign. Yeah. <laughs> There's an IOTH Academy branded toothbrush in the bathroom now. It's, it's getting there. <laughs> it's not to permeate our lives. <laughs> so uh, we do have a few streamless cards left over from last time. Also, when... So professional. When Necra gets here, you, you folks have to tell me because I'm not going to be able to hear her until I patch her in. Aye. So just tell me when you hear her voice echoing from the beyond. Uh, we do have some stream loot still floating around. Last time we had the, the uh, lucky god, the laughing god. So you still have two lucky dice floating around right now. Uh, we had a card played for Feast of Sorrows, which is Despair's Herald, which has yet to fall upon our heroes. Uh, Anachronis has disadvantage. He hasn't had to make any rolls recently so that's still hanging over his head and the so morco the great bear is a patron of bears first off but also of honey and mead and those are seen as gifts for bards poets scalds singers uh honey and mead are like sacred food that gives you inspiration to create beautiful art uh, Morco is also a patron of strength, games of strength, and tests of strength, and, and trying your skill against each other. So, one of the blessings of Morco is to give all of you one point of inspiration, which you can go ahead and mark down. Yay! And you each get a healing boost, which, since you're not injured at the moment, you can just hold on to that. So, I'm going to make you track all that stuff, because I don't want to. Hey. Just... <laughs> Put my healing boots next to serving mortals cookbook. <laughs> Very good. Mm, delicious, delicious. All right. Barring any objections, especially since Necra isn't here yet, I say we return for now to the crypts beneath Tarselmoor Hall. Not to put you immediately on the spot or anything, Jen. <laughs> <clears throat> when we last left our heroes, it was the middle of the night. Garnet was beneath the dorm, Tarsal Moor Hall, where they've all lived for the past year. This is still their first year after arriving on the ring. It has been the most tumultuous, dangerous year yet. In the crypts beneath Tarsal Moor Hall, not far from where our heroes discovered the secret Behold, vault of the Starless Market. What's that? 
Oh, man. Huh. <laughs> that is an Wait. Uns- uh. <laughs> <laughs> More face things. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun one. Uh, I'll, I'm going to hold on to that, and we'll play it. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Okay. Excellent. You see what you've done, chat? You've made gnomes happy. Are you proud of yourselves? <laughs> Last time you broke my campaign by having the exact right combination of, of, of implements and <laughs> unlimited magic, so I deserve some happiness. <laughs> in the vaults beneath Tarselmore Hall, in the crypts where young Garnet has been training under Master Ika Elnell, the one adult she was told to trust when she arrives here, told to trust by the man who it turns out betrayed her and has been manipulating her from the start. She has confided in El now, in a, in a frustrated moment of, of desperation, confided about her conversation with Renan, talked to her about the Herald, about Myrick, her tutor, using her, using both of them, and about the existence of a former Archmage in the basement. Now, the Aurai, the winged sky elf, sits next to Garnet, with the staff of Ioth lying next to her on the stones, and one of her feathered wings comforting wrapped around Garnet. And she gently asks, tell me everything. And I think she takes a moment to take a couple of breaths under her comfort, because I don't think she's been comforted in a while. And she kind of tries to relax for a second, but then opens her eyes wide to all the metal on the floor that has still been there. And she just kind of trembles a little bit. And it just hasn't blinked and looks at the metal and just says, he's, he's always watching. He, he's everywhere. He's, he's, he's here. Just take me somewhere else, please. El now glances at the pile of metal, but is smart enough not to ask questions immediately. And instead, rises with you. You have the Book of the Spiral, right? Yeah. Okay. Rises with you and will escort you from the room and without saying a word unless prompted all the way to the magic carpet, which she will fly with you back up to the Archmage's office, which is in a sealed off demi plane and much harder to spy on. Okay. This journey will take several minutes. I briefly want to establish the scene while you're flying through the air with the cold wind rushing past you at incredible speed. Middle of the night, dead of night, 12.30, 1 a.m. or so. Uh, where is Renan at this time? Uh, dead of night, he said? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the night after Athlor was working on spell stuff. So I think just in, uh, in the room, I think actually... Brennan might be like asking Athlor questions about the codex. Um, if we want to have that scene now, or just yeah, I don't know. Go for it. Oh, okay, you, go for it. Yeah, I, I guess Brennan would ask as we're walking back or just chilling. Um, Athlor, how did yes. this codex business that Alex started, and you all are in it, right? What do you all uh, do? Vaguely. Uh, well, the Codex don't think very highly of me in particular, so I'm somewhat of a peripheral agent, but I think their overall goal, and Necros here, by the way, Gnomes, is to, um, I guess, try and uphold a high scholastic level of completion, um, and it's to, like, maintain the uh, traditions of Ioth. But at this point, it seems more useful that we're just supporting Ghana in her vague leadership position, because it confers various resources to us when we can paint things as being for Ioth. Honestly, oh. I don't care that much. Is that why they don't like you much, or is that did that come before? Oh. No, they they hated me first. <laughs> oh, but you're still in it. I guess it's just for your friends then. Yeah, mostly. Like, oh. 
Alexander cared a lot about it, and Garnet's in a very high position there now, so I'm just there for them. I see. Well, all right. I guess just seems like, well, from the times I've spoken to Cryus, and he's one of the Hyatt members there, I think, right? So, I don't know. I just, I guess I feel a bit of purpose, a bit, I don't know, bounce back a little bit from that deal with with Garnet. I, I think things will be all right for all of us, even. I'm feeling a little bit optimistic. I mean, we've gone a couple of days now without a major disaster, so things are things are trending up <laughs> true that's probably a record for you all isn't it two whole days wow love that great love that for you <laughs> <laughs> hi necro how are you hi hello everybody happy hello. anniversary uh happy it was anniversary <laughs> one year ago your prologue was the very first episode of this show yeah, this yeah, is technically what? our 50th episode, if you include all four of the prologues, and you were the first. So this is really the one-year anniversary of playing with, with you. Oh, but that, you know what that means, though? We <sighs> get to celebrate four birthdays. Yes, actually, that's fair. And then at the end of those four birthdays, we get our episode that's technically numbered 50. So we're just going to celebrate the entire rest of the next four ah. weeks. I think that <laughs> only seems fair. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Happy Boggle Day. Happy Boggle Day. <laughs> All right, so, Necker, to bring you up to speed, um, Garnet and Elnow are flying back up to the tower uh, because Garnet is afraid of being spied on by Anachronis. Renan and Athalor are in their rooms, and you just got an inspiration card for slushy acquisition. So, uh, Streamless has just been played for Necra. And what else? What else? What else? What else? <laughs> Renan and Athalor are talking about the Codex. It's the middle of the night. It's 12.30, midnight, 1 a.m., that sort of time frame. Where is Ariana? I think that she'd probably be just in the room. I don't know if she's privy right now to, like, where Garnet has gone. Mm -hmm. Um, especially because I think if I'm remembering the end of last episode, she like wants to have a conversation with Garnet about things she was able to like mind spy on, mm -hmm. but doesn't want to like bring it up as an invading topic of like, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you've been up to. I can smell number. your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm creeping around right now. <laughs> So, I th uh, yeah, I think she's just, like, in the room, vibing. All right. Just vibing in her lane, unbothered. Moisturized. Moisturizing. <laughs> <laughs> Lip gloss. <laughs> All right. We now return to the flying carpet. Uh, that sound that you just heard the stream was the sound of me removing pixies from the deck. <laughs> For the Ooh. time being. <laughs> uh, because... <laughs> we got an old fashioned act of God. We got an old fashioned one. Things are going wild today, baby. Ooh, silence. Oh Sound and light fade away. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. A garnet moment. Garnet moment indeed. Garnet moment. I'm already <laughs> nervous about the shit. I <laughs> <laughs> piles of shit on top. Garnet, as the, you're flying. On your way up to the tower, paint a brief picture for me of what Garnet looks like, what she's feeling, what she's experiencing as you're making your way up to the Archmage's chamber, where you've been under multiple occasions. She's just trying to calm down from all the... Free. She's been kind of in a freak-out mode. And left, Ari wanted to talk with Ariana about it, but because she didn't prompt her, she was kind of like, uh, don't want to trauma dump on a happy food friend. So, happy gonna go. food friend. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll be a later time when she could, you know, it's like a sleep on it moment. So, she's trying to calm down right now and is trying to think of how she's going to talk about it. And as you are, as this, this surge of, of, 
concern and, and pain and fear is rushing through you. You feel that inner sickness, that deep cold that preceded the time that you tore a hole in reality and created a sphere of annihilation. But it's, it's much smaller. You're keeping it under control. There's no hag trying to kill you. Instead, you suddenly become aware of intense, profound silence all around you. The rushing of the wind past your ears, gone. The f- fluttering of Elnau's robes and feathers, gone. All you hear is an odd ticking sound. A rhythmic buzz. What do you do? Is is freaking out more now. It's just like <laughs> trying to look in the direction where the noise is coming from and is looking very paranoid. It's coming from below. Like below the carpet or below <laughs> where the school is? Below the carpet. There's a bug on the other side of the gap. There's a bug! <laughs> <laughs> Just, what are you going to do? Is El now noticing the frantic yes. looking around? Yes, and I was going to say El now doesn't notice the silence, but she's a void mage. She would also notice it. She notices you looking around and is going to put a hand on you, don't fall off, and give you an inquisitive look. Do you hear that? The ticking? Why is it quiet? It's, it's coming from below the carpet. Do you hear that? She doesn't hear a single word that you're saying. As you move your mouth... Silence. Is very confused. (laughs) She's going to point down at the carpet and go make snapping gestures with her free hand and tap her ear. Just blinks and looks down. (laughs) I don't speak carpet. Points at her eyes. Points at you, points around and under the carpet, and then holds you. Okay, you want me? Okay, so nod, it's nod. gonna start leaning over the carpet if that's what she's just holding on to me for. Okay, roll a perception check, please. I made a stealth check earlier with disadvantage for reasons. Oh, for reasons. Reasons. Yeah. Twenty-four? Twenty-four. Okay, that's fine. She I do guess. be rolling. Wow. Wow. Gleaming metal and whirring gears make up the form of this elaborate mechanical insect the size of a house cat. What? Mm-hmm. The British are not responsible for this beetle. <laughs> It just immediately goes back to the top of the carpet and is just wide-eyed looking at Al now and trying. It's gonna say out loud, even though she can't hear it. Like he's here, he's here, he's here, and just frantic about it. She draws her hand across her throat, points down, and gives you a questioning beckon. <laughs> it's just, it's, just uh, it's gonna. Use a Twilight Tendril to flick it off? Does that spell have a vocal component, or do you have the thing where you don't need a vocal component for that one? The... Great. I, I, that... I, I can... Okay. I, you have your, look... your Shadow Mastery thing. That's one of your spells that has the Shadow Mastery on it, right? Yeah, no, no, no longer verbal, somatic, or component. Okay, yeah. great, because you can't cast spells out of a verbal component when you're in silence. True. All right, so you're going to use a uh, Twilight Tendril? Yeah. Okay. And it has to make a strength saving throw. It has magic resistance, so it's going to make the save at advantage. Uh, it's also not very large. So it got a, four, a, a 13. No, a 17. A 17. Which beats your spell save, DC. So he don't move. Yep. It's sort of just like... <laughs> and it detaches. 
and flies downward very rapidly. And just sees that it flew away and just shrugs at El now, like, I guess he's gone. <laughs> she puts a hand on your shoulder and gestures for you to... <sighs> Roll a wisdom check. Not a wisdom save, a wisdom check for me, please, Garnet. A sixth. The silence Sash. remains. Sash. <laughs> um, okay, we're we're gonna give you a moment to recover. I'm gonna briefly check in on Renan and Athalor. Are you all done for the night? Do you want me to run through with Garnet's scene until it's complete, or was there anything else that you wanted to tend to? Uh, miscellaneous stuff, but complete Garnet scene. From All right. my perspective first. I right. agree. Because you are still not entirely in control of your shadow magic, and because the last time that happened, a sphere of annihilation was created, Elnau is going to opt not to go after the clockwork beetle, and instead to... Uh, just to keep focusing on calming you down. Make another wisdom check with advantage. Da, 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 da. A 15. Okay. As you regain a little bit of focus, even though you were being spied on moments ago by the mechanical messenger, the silence withdraws back into you, and you can once more hear the rush of wind all around you. And as soon as she hears any sound, she's like, oh, now she can be a bit more calmer and... Mm -hmm. Just kind of looks at El Nau's reaction. <laughs> Don't say anything yet. We're not safe. El Nau will take you back up to the office, uses the password, which is still Gelgeist, hasn't been reset, and will uh, all the way up into Ioth's office. The Book of Dawn is sealed on the desk, and she's going to close the door behind you, sit you down, and say, all right. This place is under a private sanctum spell. Nobody can spy on us here. What? I have a lot of questions. I'm going to let you talk first, okay? Does she look upset or anything? She looks concerned. She does not look angry at you at all. Okay. <sighs> now at this point, she's like fully calmed down. A lot on her mind, so. We, uh... We have a lot to discuss, and I've hidden a lot of what I've been doing from you, but not because I didn't trust you or thought that you could help. It's just if any harm happened to you because of all this, I would just not forgive myself. Um, so when the Machine Prince, you know, killed my dad in the army, the only thing I could think about was how I wanted him to feel that same pain. and. All I can feel is anger and pain, and then I turned to void magic, Miric. I thought it was just this unimaginable power and one that would never let anyone hurt someone I loved again. Um, I came to this academy, master this power under you, and I became just so confident that I could start to enact my plan. But even if I read every passage and learned everything I, I could about the machine prints, nothing would compare to studying him face to face so i she kind of regrets this and I called upon him and he revealed his true form to me and i stared up at the complexities of the machinery the aura of his power and the reality of his existence and i didn't fear him anymore surprisingly i i almost Became to envy him in a way. I thought it was incredible what I saw. Um, I wanted his power. I lost sight of my goal and I got greedy. I told him about my hatred for Untermaler, an individual at the academy who failed to keep his students safe from the pixies, from the hags, from the redcaps, and from the infernals that arrived under his watch. And I just knew you were destined for that role the whole time. And I asked the Machine Prince's help in accomplishing that. And I promised him that I would kill Undemaler. And in my head, I was saving the school, I was helping you. 
But deep down, I was angry at the power he had over me. I, I hated him for it. But I, when I had the opportunity to, to kill him, I hesitated because the day the Knights of Terra Nimbus came for you, Untamaler saved my friends, and he stood up for you when it would have been easier to let you go and let you die. But that lack of focus costed me because the next day Buddha was found dead and Untamaler was the only witness. So some nights I, I wonder if Buddha... If, if Buddha would have came to you about his troubles instead of him, that you would have saved him. So I grew to hate Untamaler more, but things changed when Ioth disappeared into the book and took my friend Alex with him, and you became the Archmage. So I realized that I lost my way when I left Alex to die to Ioth. I cleansed him of the Herald's Bind, and I didn't fight to protect him like I promised I would. And now I'm reminded of him, my regret of uh, Brontha every day. And it's even but into reality. I see Alex every day and she starts to cry. El now is sitting across the desk from you. And even though it's only a measure of a few feet of some ancient petrified wood, the distance seems to expand off into the horizon, an impossible gap for a moment. I imagine as you're weeping, are your eyes on her or are you more focused inward? She probably hasn't made any eye contact with her. So it was just looking down and crying. And if she doesn't say anything, it would probably continue, but it takes a second to cry. Okay. I'll now we'll remain silent and keep listening. I'm reminded of my failure to protect Alex every day. And now, in form of Renan, it disgusts gusts me to my core that he walks in his shoes, sleeps in his room. It is an apparition makes no sense. It's like he holds the memories of Alex, but acts nothing like him. If he could escape the book, why can't Alex or I off? But my, my suspicion was right. This wasn't Dawn magic, but the work of Infernals that got Renan out of that book. Renan is tied to the serpent. And I, I haven't told my friends because I was worried that this would jeopardize their safety if I told them. I, I thought I had control of the situation. I was going to work with him to learn about the serpent. But Ren, Renan became tur began turning on me and my friends didn't intervene. They don't even look like they care. And maybe I've been bitter towards them for their just lack of suspicion and their easy acceptance of, of this person in Alex's place. How could they replace Alex so easily? She's going to take a second to cry a bit more. Well, now will, after another long moment, offer you her hand across the desk. Roll an insight check for me, and the choice is yours of what to do with it. 14. Her hand is trembling. She just looks up, but she's like too ashamed to take her hand, even though she wants to. And it gets worse from continuing to learn about Renan. He's learned much more about me. Everything, actually, from Merrick using me to working with the machine prints and how I've been a pawn in their design. But most importantly, he revealed that Merrick is in the Silent City somewhere in this book. And I haven't stopped reading it ever since he told me. But Brennan, the way he, he talked about Merrick and everything, I, he ignited an anger in me I haven't had since the day the prince attacked. But I won't make the same mistake with him that I did with Alex. I'm going to protect Renan, no matter how much he wants to see me hurt. I, I want to save him from the serpent. And just kind of looks... At El now, with like a hopefulness, I guess. Hmm. 
One last thing, Garnet. The the Archmage. Right. Well, trying to figure out what the serpent was doing at the school, the machine prince returned and demanded that I fulfilled my promise of killing Untamaler, and if I didn't complete this promise, he would deploy Tarselmore's soul to do it. And we found Tarsal Moore in the vault of the crypt. But I, I, I've bought us some time. I said I needed you to become the Archmage before I took out into Muller to devoid of any investigation. But the truth is, Elna, I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to be a pawn in this design. And I couldn't tell you or the Sage before because I just... I knew you wouldn't trust me with this. And the Sage said she would kill any vessel of the... Of, of an infernal, whether it's me or Renan. And I think there's a way to, to cleanse Renan, like I cleansed Alex of the Herald. Uh, I, I could deal with the Machine Prince. I could learn about the Serpent. I could keep watch over Renan. And Tarsamore's still in the crypt. He's untouched. But now I've learned that the Machine Prince, the Serpent, Tarsamore, maybe even the Herald, are all working together. And this design has been in place for so many years I, I don't know what to do anymore well now let's out a deep sigh one of those quiet sighs not a big but a <laughs> uh, infernals right <laughs> <laughs> She stands up. She paces back and forth, Ioth's staff wrapping against the stone floor of his office. She glances over at the book with its cover closed on the desk. Faced half away from you, looking over at the wall, she says, Garnet, I'm not going to forsake you. Not going to let them get you. Okay. Tarsamore is still alive in some way and is down below. The Machine Prince and Mirik conspired together to bring you to Ioth Academy. The Herald arranged for Alexander be at Ioth Academy. And now the serpent is directly involved. Yes, they are all working together towards some end. I'm sure that Ioth's fate is part of it. Maybe even me being the headmaster is part of it. Maybe that's been Merrick's goal this entire time. We are not going to let them puppet us. We are not going to be anybody's tools. We're going to take charge of this. Have you told me everything? Is there anything else? I think that's everything. Okay. What was your plan to help Renan? I called upon Zalar to help and I didn't even ask him to do it, and he came out and burned Alex somehow, and the Herald was gone. And I don't know if there's a way to ask him to do it again. I, I don't know how, but I can't tell the Sage, because all the Sage wants to do is kill the vessel, and I don't, I don't want to see Renan die. There's got to be another way. Zalar is the inimical enemy of the Herald in particular. Maybe his power could help with the Serpent, but it's not the exact same thing. They aren't opposites of each other. I don't know if that would work. 
it might be worth trying. Tomorrow is Zalar's feast day. If any point in the year his power would be strongest, it would be tomorrow. She glances back over at the book. And looks back over at you. Okay. Renin, the serpent, the herald, the machine prince, Tarsum, the weapon. Tarsum Lord dies tonight for the last time. How, how do we do that? She taps the staff of Ioth and runs her fingers across the adamantine box that holds the sphere of annihilation. Worked on a titan. Okay. First we get rid of the him. Pull that tool out of the serpent's book. Tomorrow, we do something about Renan on Zalar's holy day. Can you, Merrick is in the silent city. I know the spells to go there. But I don't know if we want to challenge him there. That's where he'll be strongest. I think... Uh... Is it Rednap said that, or, or the sage said that we could draw him out using Dawn? I don't, it was a one word. I don't know if it's the Book of Dawn or Dawn Magic, but. Okay. Do you remember specifically? You, it was about drawing him out? <sighs> well, we have yeah. the book. It might be worth using. All right. Tonight. Tonight, Tarsal Moore. Tomorrow, Renan. Then Merrick. No, no warnings, no chances. I'm gathering everyone. Everyone? Yeah. I'm sage? Even. No, not the sage. But I want a war wizard by my side. Take inspiration for that. Darn it. I'm bringing Untermaller with me. I'm bringing the other teachers with me. I'm bringing the wardens with me. We are going to go... Hundreds of years ago, we thought we cleansed Tarselmore Hall. Now we're going to finish the job. <laughs> the power of sun. Evil cannot abide the light. Gaze upon it and be dismayed. Zalar buffs. Ooh. Zalar buffs on Zalar Day. Okay. Ooh. Are any of your friends in any other danger? Because I'm going to go get Untermaller and we're going to go now. Well, they're with Renan, and I don't, they don't know about him, and I haven't told them, and I, should I tell them? I, I can't believe I lied to them, but I... Can you wait until tomorrow? Sure. Okay. Then wait until tomorrow. Tonight, Tarsalor dies. Do I bring them to help? She pauses for a moment. They know about Tarsal more, but they don't know about his connection to the serpent and other things. They just know about him being there because we were all there together. <sighs> uh, don't ask about the holes in the door. It's, it's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. The pixies did it. <laughs> no, that's a lie. <laughs> 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 it's honesty time. Okay, no, I think it's safest if you and the others stay there. We got lucky. We got lucky. Not that you weren't strong, but if Tarselmore is as powerful as I think he is, he'll be slinging around third circle magic. And that could kill you if you just get caught in the crossfire. Okay? Okay. I'm okay. going to take you back. I want you to be with your friends. I want you to keep them safe. I'm going to go kill Tarselmore. You don't need help controlling the sphere? I could help. I'll call you if I need you. You won't be far. Okay. All right. She's going to fly you back down 
to oh that beetle how did that thing get in here that was one of his constructs oh um he's he sent some friends to help with the untomaler mission uh i made a mistake i thought that he would he would expose himself i thought he would show his face to to help me with untomaler and that could have been a opportunity but he sends his minions he the metal in the office it was a giant construct and i guess he has more than i thought okay we kill that then we kill tarsal more and you are going to go keep if there are more of those around i'm going to put wardens in the hallways outside of your rooms all right i want you to go back i'm going to put wardens in the hallways i'm going to keep you safe until this is over and if i need your help with the sphere i will send for you all right you don't have any metal detection type of spells or items that in case they're hiding yeah we can suss them out we can absolutely find them the artificers have things for that okay We'll, we'll clean the entire area. Okay? Okay. All right. Sorry about everything. I'm here for you, Garnet. We'll talk about that later, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you for trusting me with the truth. <sighs> she is going to fly you back. Uh, but first, she's going to... You see her focusing for a moment as she casts a sending spell. And then she's going to go ahead and fly with you back to your room. In the meantime, Ariana, are you asleep? It's midnight. Are you asleep? Are you studying? What's going on? No, I think she's worried about Garnet. So she'd actually like be waiting up to see if Garnet's walking through the door. Okay. Uh, roll a perception check for me, please. Laughs in the It appears to be a bedroom. <laughs> you have uh, inspiration from the gift of Morco. And yeah. you have two lucky dice remaining in the whole party from the Laughing God. Oh, that's right. So right I'll use the inspo first. Thank okay. you. All right. That is that indeed is. a bed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a four. It's still a bedroom. <laughs> uh, you can use the lucky dice on this too if you want. Let me know already have lucky dice anyway. All right. One lucky dice remaining in the pool. Go ahead and give me that perception check. 13. That is much better. Let's see if that's good enough. Uh, I'm going to cash in this lovely little inspiration that I got earlier to roll this with advantage. Oh, no. 18. It's a deck save, huh? Oh, I did roll a deck save. That's not what I wanted. To. Oh, it's the same. It's the same roll. It's plus five in either case. Oh. All right. You are unaware as a clockwork beetle sneaks into your bedroom. Bruh. Are you sure I can't hear its thoughts? It's not thinking. I don't still have the mind. Buff. That effect has worn off. <laughs> no thoughts, just beetle. <laughs> beetle, 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 Dang. Okay. All right. You're pacing back and forth. You're just waiting for Garnet to return. Yep. Okay. And... An unfamiliar voice. Actually, I don't know if it's familiar or not. I'll let you decide if it's familiar or not. Do not alert the wardens. Do not call out. The life of your teacher, Sing, is at stake. You will comply. What do you do? That's me. 
Is that in my head? No, that's in the room with you. Ho, 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 yeah, that is a physical oh, no. voice. That is not mental oh, contact. Oh, oh no. Oh, who's there? Huh? If it's that loud, can we perception check in a room adjacent? You can roll perception check. It's it's uh it's not supposed to be that loud. It's it's more it's more quiet than that. But a high enough perception check would allow I, I you to at least tell. I mean more Ariana tell. than uh than uh, an okay, oh, I, that's yeah, fair. I would absolutely like. <laughs> hey, who's there? Oh, that's not supposed to be an advantage. That's fine. You literally anyway. rolled the same thing twice, so we'll take it. You have failed to comply. You will comply. <laughs> Or Sig will suffer the consequences. Wait, wait, what? Remain what do you mean I quiet. To Remain quiet. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Silence, man. <laughs> At the Lord, you just heard that noise next door. Uh, you you heard her talking loudly for a moment, uh, as did Renan. What would the two of you do? I was gonna like exchange look with Renan, like it's um. Distressed to you? Uh, vaguely. I guess that two days is up, isn't it? I cast a tech thoughts. Okay, let me see if this thing, uh. Ready, has grab immutable the ear form. horn of hearing out of my trunk. Go to the wall, see if you can grab anything. Okay, okay, okay. Renan does that. Okay. Uh, you are now able to listen into this conversation. You will comply or sick will face the consequences. Do you understand? Nod your head if you understand. <laughs> you will place this unit in a backpack and proceed to the crypts. And a cat-sized mechanical beetle crawls out from under your bed. Oh my god! <laughs> also, Athalor, all you're picking up in terms of thoughts are what I'm saying. There is no mental activity in the actual beetle itself, but occasionally these thoughts are being routed through it. And okay, are, are and being I, I'm getting standard Ariana things, yes? Mm-hmm. You would tell... Hunger, fear. Hunger, fear. Oh, what is that? That's huge. It's a mechanical beetle. You probably would get that. Ariana, what else would surface-level thoughts would Athlor be picking up? Uh, I think I think she would be kind of thinking, like, oh, my God, is this what they were talking about? What we were you know, listening to the thing, the librarian, like, over in the dungeon, and now it's coming back to haunt us, but I'm not really sure where we went wrong. But what is that? <laughs> Why is it in the room? How did it get here? Where's Garnet? You will place <laughs> what do this I do? unit in a backpack. Comply. What? What? Athelor and Renan, you are both welcome to do whatever you'd like. I guess Renan has the ear horn, so it's like translating, making sure mm -hmm. Athelor is caught up on whatever's mm -hmm. going on. Just looks very concerned over at Athelor. Oh, God, what the fuck? This has been a day. Mm -hmm. uh, what a. I, I guess we just need to keep an eye on her. It's threatening sink? I guess so. We we shouldn't go over, or, or should we? Or my detect thoughts. Do I detect wardens here yet? Not yet. <clears throat> okay. And I guess we need to see what she does, right? Okay. I uh, probably. I guess maybe she'll handle it. Uh, hopefully. Well. Are you like, just what, what, looking out for her, yeah? What am I gonna do? Oh my god. Wait, who wish the backpack? What backpack is he talking about? <laughs> Literally any oh, backpack. backpack. Locate a container that will conceal this unit. Disadvantage on the backpack. Comply. 
fly swiftly or face the consequences. Oh my god, oh my god, okay, okay, Jesus. She'd like, I think, start like muttering to herself at this point about mm -hmm. like, oh god, I gotta like pick up this beetle and <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> what do you figure? It's like, yeah, it's like it's really, it's really heavy. Back, back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you've just been gifted a treasure. You've been gifted a beetle-sized backpack from Chad. Hey! Oh, she got the supreme backpack. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I guess, like, yeah, she'd probably, like, find, like, a random bag that's laying around the room mm -hmm. and then open it, stuff the beetle inside, like, <laughs> okay, like, close it up, hitch it mm -hmm. over her shoulder, and, like, run out the door. Okay. But I think she would also like give a quick knock on Athelor and Renan's door because I feel like she's she needs help, but she's not sure like how to. She can't say that, right? It opens weirdly instantly. <laughs> Athelor opens the door, touches your chest, and casts a mage armor. Can you do that? <laughs> Ariana just smells like thank you. <laughs> Oh. As soon as the knock happens, Renan's like, ah, and drops the ear horn. It's <laughs> so loud. Why is it so loud? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I create a telepathic link with Ariana, but keep silent for now. Okay. Yeah, I think if I, because can Ariana feel that? The telepathic like link? Yeah. He, he might just like make a little bit of a hum, like that you'd recognize as being the hum of a gyre that he used to mm. sleep to. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. not a word. Just but like, it's mm. it's enough though that Ariana knows that Athelor is. It's a familiar is sound. Okay. I think she would feel calmed by that, but also feel more confidence knowing that like as she's making her way down to the crypts, she can start thinking, okay, I have to get this beetle in the backpack to another backpack in the crypts. It doesn't matter, apparently, what backpack, but I have to get it down there or Sig gets it. I feel like we should go get help to warn Sig about this. Where's Garnet? <laughs> but like very like metho like very like uh, focused on getting like those directions and thoughts out to Athelor. A sharp mechanical uh, beak of some kind pokes you through the back of the backpack. It's... Ow! It's... Ariana's gonna take the bag and like slam, like like knock into the wall. <laughs> 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 <Come on. laughs> also, there's 14 copper inside the backpack. Oh, nice! Yeah. <laughs> Add that to your inventory. Oh, <laughs> All right, and then what are you? What are the three of you going to do? Where are you going to go? Um, Renan, you know where the greenhouse is, right? Uh, yes, probably, most likely, I think so. I, I think you need to go up there and just tell Master Sig that just to be on the lookout, weird things are happening. You'll have to make up some kind of lie. Because uh, otherwise, mm. you'd be like, hey, are you chilling with, like, some weird infernal machine kind of thing? Yeah, uh, okay, I'll think of something. I'll, maybe maybe I'll... just tell him that you want to learn some botany or something and just make sure he doesn't randomly die. Sound good? Yeah, I'll save him shortly uh, on my way. Good I luck. believe in you. You're amazing. Thank you, though. Renan scurries off towards the greenhouse. Okay, and what will Athlor and Ariana do? Athlor's gonna follow Ariana at a distance, knowing that she's saying, like, going to the crypts. So he's got a pretty good sense of the way to the crypts through Tarsimor House from their dorm, mm -hmm. so he's essentially walking the same route that they always would, but probably about one and a half minutes after Ariana would take those steps. Well, uh, the okay. other thing that Ariana is doing is she is taking the longest route there as slowly as possible to go to buy some time for maybe something to happen that Athelor has started to like uh, orchestrate mm -hmm. and or like Garnet to get back. 
Okay, I'd like you to roll a survival check, please, to represent taking the longest possible oh. path. I would also let you make <laughs> a like, flat no. intelligence check, either a survival check or a flat intelligence check. I was like, geez, how much is geometry. this hurting me? <laughs> <laughs> roll to <laughs> not die. die. Garnet recharges your other spell slot thanks to chat playing Yay. another stream loot card. All right, I will do a... What did you say? Survival Survival or... or a flat intelligence check. Your choice. Yeah, we're going intelligence on this one. That does tend to be your special... <laughs> Yo. Okay. <laughs> Bro. Oh, so... Anyway, there was one more lucky dice in the container. Bro. There, there uh. is one more lucky dice in the pool if you want to use it. Only if the party says it is okay. Go for I've it. Got, be smart. I've got my own lucky dice. Be smart. Go off, queen. You, you, you <laughs> use the brain. Use the lucky brain. Oh, thank God. 17. Okay. Uh, so you have successfully taken an extremely long route. It is so long, in fact, that... Behold, an act of God. Fickle fate. Snatch victory from defeat and defeat from victory. So long, in fact, that Athlor will arrive in the crypts before you do. Chat, I appreciate oh. you not playing any cards during uh, intense roleplay scenes. That's good. Uh, that's good practice. Thank you. Uh, fickle fate. Anyways, Athlor, you're going to arrive in the crypts beforehand. And I can still hear Ariana going like, Going to the crypts. This meat or scary. Bacon. <laughs> Ariana, bacon is the important thing. It's true. It's true. <laughs> so Athelor, if you arrive in the crypts beforehand, what are you going to do? Um, Athelor's gonna move over to a vault of Tarsamore mm -hmm. and look to see if there has been any attention paid to the hole. Roll one d four for me, please. Not going inside. Oh, you're not going into the chamber. You're no, because from because the he's conscious of the fairy fire. Just looking through the door, like, huh, mm -hmm. just like Brady bunching head out. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, roll a perception check for me to see what you are able to see. Um. <laughs> Twelve. Don't mind me. I'm just going to roll a stealth check. Nineteen. You are staring into the room and abruptly you are aware of shining orange lights towering above you. What, as in like behind me or like in behind the Behind you. Behind you. Uh, I, I... Hi. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, it is a large insectoid form with smoke rising between the plates of its hide its many orange yellow eyes shine like dim lanterns and reveal no hint of expression or interest it is indeed the clockwork abomination which I thought I had taken us to Oh, good. Oh, I see what's happening. All right, uh, I'm going to need to... I see what's happening here. <laughs> Same. <laughs> so, uh, I, I have a production issue that I'm just going to iron out real quick. Don't worry about it. Uh, anyways, it looms up behind you, and in another familiar voice... Open the vault. <laughs> Friend of his, then. You will comply. Open the vault. I remember I have somewhere I need to be. You will Athlor's comply. cloak shines and he tries to cast Sanctuary on himself. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. All right, what did that let's, do? Let's Ooh. go back to the map and see if this doesn't uh, explode real quick. Did it work? Hey, it worked. Here you go, chat. Clockwork Abomination served up hot. So what is the spell save DC for your sanctuary spell? 
Uh, 14. And what type of save is it? Oh, you've dropped it in chat. Thank you. That is a wisdom saving throw. And if it targets you with an attack or a harmful spell. Okay. All right. So you cast Sanctuary, and then what do you do? Like it. Okay. <laughs> you are within its threatened space. Roll for initiative. If you win, it doesn't get an attack of opportunity. If you lose, it does. I got a 13. I might use one of my lucky dice here. You're welcome to do it. I'm welcome to do it if you want Actually, to Actually, I've got that. an inspiration, so I'm going to use that. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and mark that off. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. The cool. Clockwork Abomination reaches out with its enormous maw to close around you, but it has to roll a wisdom saving throw. With and disadvantage. Thank with you, Mama Shimada. Disadvantage. Shimada. Yep. Disadvantage okay. on that. So wisdom save at disadvantage. Against a 14. Oh, Holy a natural oh, 20 and a 16. Oh. I will not be stopped. I will not be contained. <laughs> Wait, reaches... what is it? Uh, oh, it's a 16? Mm-hmm. I have an unlucky dice. I think I'm going to make you re-roll that. Okay. <gasps> All right. We're invoking Fickle Fate, which got played earlier. The unlucky dice is being played. And... Uh, I'm oh, this roll. is left over. You this is from the last time we had Fickle Fate? Wow. Yeah, I haven't used them at all. Okay. All right. Well, so each of you has one unlucky dice, by the way. Please note that so I don't have to. Um, oh, so I have two. four. Oh, overall. wow. Oh, wow. Because I had three because you gave me all three. Last time. I've been stockpiling yeah. all the resources. Yeah, so I have, so I use one, so I have three. Okay. Three left. All right. All right. All right. And I have one now because you just gave me one by spending your unlucky die. So I'm going to roll one more time and take the worst of the three because the power of the Grey Jester do be like that. Yeah! 13! As it reaches down towards you, it can't attack. Does it look like it has ranged capabilities? Does it look um, like it can has cannons? It can breathe fire. Oh, that sounds fun. And you you said you're going to leg it, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. You see it. It walks down the corridor, pursuing you. And then as you continue to make your move, it just goes into the vault room. Directly inside. I'm rolling 1d4. It's a 4. Okay, so it doesn't immediately start sparking because, yes, that entire thing is made out of metal and the fairy power is still active in that room. <laughs> All right. Uh, Athelor is scurrying. Garnet is Wait. on a magic carpet flying back. Did you have something else you wanted to do, Can Athelor? I use an item interaction as my bonus action if I've only moved yeah, uh, less from the dash range? Yeah, what do you got in mind? I'm taking off my iron necklace and I'm going to try and throw it in the room. Okay. Clatter, clatter. The, uh, the thing again. So the thing is, uh, it's on like an interval of X minutes. That's why I rolled 1d4 ah. to see if it would go off. So you're welcome to not do that because you would understand that about it. Okay. In, in which case, I shall uh, just move towards... Uh, I'll use the dash action instead to move okay. towards the primary thoroughfare downwards. And look out for any wardens. A anyone who might just be, you know, slightly less level four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, first off, you bump into Ariana. Hey. Thinking like, hey, you beat me here. Oh, but you're here. That's that's good. No, I don't know if it's good. What? I, I thought I'd just sort of like gestures Your towards the ball. is correct. And I gotta like peek behind <laughs> at the lore and just like drop the beetle. <laughs> the beetle, as you're dropping it, it bites you through the uh, through the backpack. It Ow! just flat out attacks you to kill. What? 
I should not have had advantage on that. Oh my it, god! It is a twenty-three to hit as it attempts to bite your spinal column. Oh my god! I am casting my reaction, silvery barbs. Okay. So well, I, I have mage armor too, right? Yeah, so but the twenty-three is still oh, going to hit you through the mage is... armor. All right, burn those silvery barbs. I have to take the twelve. You now have a silvery thing floating above your head that you can spend. As instead of dealing 26 points of damage, as this beetle is designed to assassinate and kill people, that's its, uh, that's its purpose when it's not being a, a, the voice of the machine. Okay, so it attempts to bite you. He silvery barbs it, and it does not bite you for 26 points of damage. Ariana, what do you do? I... Oh, my God. Um... I guess, like... So my sanctuary is now over. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know if I have it. So one action. Um, I think I would try to use false life here. Okay, just to give yourself a little bit of a not die shield? Yeah, because silvery... Let's see. Are we in a new initiative order now? Um, well, the, uh, the abomination isn't chasing you. So yes, e effectively, yes. I'm not in hard locked Actually, combat just yet, although we're about to be. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Apple, if you'd like to take an action, you are welcome to do so while Ariana makes a decision. So I've used my reaction I'm doing that. So yeah, like, but then it's your turn. turn. At, at some point, it's your turn. Your reaction refreshes and it's your turn. At, the beetle has never dropped off the ground, yeah? Yes. And it just bit its way through the backpack in a single bite. Oh, okay. Athalor is threatened by his first kiss getting potentially bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uses Quicken Spell to cast Tasha's Mind Whip as an action. Okay, drop it in the chat. Bam. The beetle is immune to psychic damage. Oh. oh. Is it, Upon uh... seeing that, I think... Ariana is going to end up using, oh, where did it go? Hunter's Mark. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark onto it. Okay. Because there's other effects that... to the Mind Whip, too. Is it going to roll for that DC? Oh. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say that it doesn't, it doesn't say. Yeah, so that seems fair. That is an intelligence saving throw. Bad news. A seven. Hooray. All right, so it still takes the debilitating effect. Uh, that was a quick and spell as well, so I can cast all of it as my regular action. Okay, <laughs> great. So what did you want to do with your regular action? Uh, I quick and spell Tasha's mind web, so I can use a... A cantrip. Can yeah. Boom. Toll the dead. You put in one creature. So the sound of a, of a bell. Dong, gong. Has to succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's a natural, that's a natural one. Uh, so it's gonna take double damage. So roll two d eight, please. <laughs> <laughs> then some damaging boys. Shish. Wow. Okay. So as the sounds of the bells of the dead resound within the crypt, the beetle explodes. Corrupt, like necrotic energy surges through it breaks its gears, they all just start popping out left and right and corroding with the passage of time, and you have destroyed the clockwork beetle. I sent Ronin to get sick. You did? Yeah. Okay. We, we heard the thing. We were listening. I... Sorry. No, no. Good. Good. I'm glad. I could, I could kind of tell. Uh, I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, because I don't know what's going on, but that thing tried to attack me. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad you're okay. Um, let's... Athol just, like, grabs her hand and starts trying to pull her up the stairs to see yeah, if there's okay. literally any wardens on oh, yeah. you're going to You're going to find a warden almost immediately, but not before Renan has climbed his way to the highest room of the tallest tower inside of Tarselmore. 
and reached the greenhouse. And even higher than the greenhouse, within the garden itself, where Sig is tending to the various rare plants and reagents lying around. Renan, what are you going to do here? I guess Renan steps into the greenhouse and, uh, I don't know, just knocks on something. Says, <clears throat> uh, hello, uh, P- Professor Gezik? Sig does not immediately speak before turning around. Our position is compromised. Renan just hear that out loud in the greenhouse? Yes, Sig said that. Um... It, one more time? S- sorry? Our position is compromised. We move tonight. Who's we? You will stay out of the way. Okay. Um. I. Oh. Are all right. And Sig is going to step, turn around, and step past you. And when Sig turns towards you, you can see burning orange light in the flesh golem's eyes. The light of Anachronis as the construct begins walking down the steps towards the crypt. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Um, okay. Is there only one exit to the greenhouse? Yeah. Well, of the greenhouse, no. But of the garden, yes. So if you uh, see right here, the only way in and out are these stairs. Uh, once you get down these stairs, you can go down these stairs, or you can go down these stairs here. You've got a variety of options. The Tower of Alchemy is over here. You can always jump off the roof into the waters below. You've got <laughs> options. Okay. Uh, I think uh, Renan will wait long enough towards descending the garden stairs, wouldn't immediately run into the mind-controlled sig, but then... Mm-hmm. Uh, would cast invisibility on okay. themselves and just book it towards the crypts. Okay. Meanwhile, Garnet, you have arrived uh, at Tarselmore Hall as fate would have it on the roof, which is where you normally de- uh, land with these things and which is in sight of the greenhouse. <laughs> do you hear me okay so i have to reload my yeah you're back you're good everything's fine we're fine how are you um i don't see anything in roll 20 but i'll uh you know let me drop out. let me drop you in Whoop. oh okay that was a me oh and, and let me turn my off. browser no let me turn off dynamic lighting on this layer so that you can see properly and uh master l now is with you and she has told you that the other teachers are on their way Do I see... Wait, didn't something just happen in the greenhouse? Um... No, nothing seems to have happened in the greenhouse. Roll a perception check. Oh. We'll find my character sheet. Shift, double-click on Garnet, and it'll pop up for you. Oh, that's smart. One of my favorite tricks. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. Nothing to see here. Nope, everything's completely fine. You did just get inspiration from Let's try it seeing again. Yeah, let's give that a oh, go. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, the back to back. Yeah. Okay, you catch a single glimpse, a direct glimpse of um, Sig walking down the stairs with Anachronis' light in his eyes for just a brief moment, and you recognize that light immediately. I was not going to give you that on anything short of a 20. <laughs> And he's going downstairs? Mm -hmm. He's going Uh, down from the garden into the greenhouse. And stops Elle now before she takes off. And Mm -hmm. he's controlling Sig. Oh, Machine Prince. I just saw him leave the garden. Um, Okay, 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 okay. 
who do I, who do I call for this? Uh, not on Druid, our abjurer. Sending spell. <laughs> and she's going to go ahead and cast a sending spell to get a hold of the master abjurer. Oh, that's why he knows my dad, right? Mm hmm. Oh. I, I need to find Ariana. Is, is he going towards Ariana? I, I don't know. I better go stop him. Let's follow him. Mm hmm. And uh, she's going to grab you in her arms and fly down to the greenhouse level. I need to grab the two of you and drag you down another level. And right into Renan, who is in the process of, let's see, would this be floor two? Yeah, this be floor two. Right into Renan, who is invisible. Let's see. Oh, Alexander's still on this layer. Lol. <laughs> oh, let me turn, let me, let me turn like off a... uh, dynamic lighting here as well so everyone can see. Boop. And I'll make a change to chat and see. Boop. And let's see. These stairs go here, right? No, they're here. They're here. All right, cool. So uh, fly you down to here. Sig is... Where's Sig? Do I have all of Sig's stats correctly? I had Sig on the other layer. Oh, let me just grab the flesh golem. That'll be more fun. <laughs> Flesh Golem here. And uh, Athalor, you are not on this level, but we'll get back to you in a moment. We do, however, have Renan, who is invisible and booking it. Yeah. So, would Renan have seen, uh, would Renan have seen Garnet or El now or be past them already? You, you, no, they would all arrive roughly simultaneously. So, you are invisible, but you would see them over here oh okay okay so as they're like on their way in so you can decide whether or not you want to grab them right before sig starts to round the corner or not your call uh yeah i think renan would and he's been like running down the stairs like half out of breath but like mm -hmm. i guess would remain invisible and say Hi, 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 hi! It's 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 me, Renan. There's a sig controlled going to crypt. Probably need to go to the crypt fast. Fast, 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 fast. Fast, fast, fast. Wait, so Renan's right in front of us now? Invisible, but yes. Invisible, but voice of Renan, yeah. Just wide-eyed and looks at El now to see her reaction. I can tell some more. Oh, no other house gives me this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tarsal more house! <laughs> El now is going to step into this, looks down at these stairs and say, that's the only way to the crypts from here. Oh, six, 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 right, right, right over th that way. And I, I guess. El now steps around the corner to st and looks directly at Sig. Hmm. And the two of them stare at each other, the eyes still burning with Anachronis's light. There's a very tense moment. Ariana and Athelor, you have secured the assistance. Uh, you've managed to grab a warden. What have you told them? Big scary metal thing in Tarsal Moor's vault. It tried to attack me. Um, yeah. By by the vault, by by the vault. Yes, by the, the door, vault the door. You know that thing that's evil. locked. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks looks really sus. It is sus. There was something there. Please also, go look. Pixies, go. Taps helmet, <laughs> and all the wardens in Tars Tarselmore Hall immediately receive a mental alert. And they all start rushing downstairs. No, 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 not all of you. Not <laughs> all of you. What if something else happened somewhere else? It's fine. Come we have on, guards be posted. Don't be smart about you this. You get to safety right now. <laughs> Athelor, we gotta go. I like, we gotta go now. Sig, probably. Upstairs. Lead the way. Ariana will start uh, taking him towards the greenhouse. Okay. All right, Sig is walking towards Master L now, who says, Sig, stop. Sig, you've had your freedom for all these hundreds of years. It doesn't matter. 
who made you. It doesn't matter who claims authority over you. You're not bound by this. I need you to knock it off. And Sig keeps walking forward. As he walks forward, Garnet's going to step in front of El now mm -hmm. and just command him to stop again. Okay. okay. Roll a persuasion check. Oh. 19. Okay. I rolled a 12. Sig stops in his tracks, looking directly at Garnet and at Master L now. We have elected an alternate path. Your actions have been taken into account and incorporated into this contingency. The design is inexorable. And Sig raises his hands to form a spell matrix to attack. And we'll find out what happens after we come back from a short break. Don't go anywhere, folks. Book of Dawn, Ioth Academy will return.